Greetings, fellow viewers and criminal case fans alike. Today we have some exciting news because as soon as I got back home from shopping, you know, I've just had my iPad updated the game. And when I've entered the game, what surprised me was this a brand new look for the game, you know. It got me a little bit excited, but what new thing can they add into the game? So I take a look around, everything looks about the same. And then I just noticed this little aeroplane at the corner here. Then it just reminds me of some updates I've read somewhere talking about where you'll be having new cases in different places or even different periods. Before I knew much, when I clicked on it, I saw this Pacific Bay and said, Ooh, is that a new location? That's not what I heard from the news. They talk about having a new cases in the past, like during Sherlock Holmes' time. So this is entirely new. So when I click this play button, the App Store, which shows this new criminal case Pacific Bay, which could only signify it's an entirely new download. This could mean that I don't have to worry about any previous accomplishments and all, like how much stars I've earned, things and all, the stickers and everything. So after I've downloaded it, let's take a look at what this new game provides. Welcome to Criminal Case Pacific Bay. Basically it's like CSI Miami, after the original CSI. Oh, and here we start the tutorial mission again, like before. As the game continues to play on, I would like to share some of my thoughts of the previous games, way, the way they handle the evidence and all, like the mini games to be precise. It's the, some things could be done differently, better. I like how they introduce the dusting for prints or sketches of torn papers to reveal some of this secrets. The only thing I have a little beef on is about finding like traces of blood or DNA evidence and everything. It's how like it's quite random. It doesn't need any much thought. In the fingerprint dusting, it's at least it's roughly showing places where you can find the fingerprint or where the words are going to be, which makes sense. So the same thing I would hope for is the finding other things, all those DNA samples, livers, whatever, on places where it should be. Because sometimes when we zoom into an item, we see we found the traces on location where the item is not even on. And when we're looking for blood, sometimes they point to the location where there's no blood on the item. So it would be nice to have like some common sense in it where we have to where the blood will obviously be where the blood on the pictures to be found. This will give uh, people a chance to pinpoint the sample immediately on the right spot and rather than based on total random chance and just find it somewhere, who knows, in one corner or the other side of the corner. And another thing I would like to share also is about our suspects, especially as shown in this tutorial, clearly when we got the suspect's clothing, especially the whole jersey, but then obviously the person don't, don't have it with them anymore. How can they be wearing exactly the same thing, even though yes, some people have the same type of clothing for them to wear again. Now, why would they wear again the same exact thing to point themselves as the main suspect? So like, other things should pinpoint as to what kind of person is being wearing a sports jersey could lead to that the person likes sports you no know? that could help us find the suspect you know? rather than just seeing the person wearing the exact same thing with the same number this was pointed out in the historical area of the first game where clearly we got the gloves for the gardening case and then so the doctor clearly points out that obviously the suspect is no longer wearing them. That's all I would like to share about about the 
evidence mini games, but the rest of it is quite well done. How to compare things in a database or try to figure out passwords or codes. Well, this being a new game, I'm hoping that they will be able to introduce some new things and in the evidence mini games and instead of having all the same. If they are all the same, then they have to improve a lot in the story or show something new rather than the same whole type of cases that we've already experienced before. So I'm looking forward to this new game and the cases that it brings to us as we already saw some of the things showing some shark attacks or what anything else you can expect in the beach environment and also I'll be still be continuing on with the first game which clearly I have not finished yet so if you're new to my channel hopefully you join me in both sides and you're able to see the game with continuous storytelling without any too long waiting time in the video obviously I have to wait for me to finish the video then upload it <laughs> but till then once it's uploaded, you get to see the entire case uninterrupted and ordered. And I try to arrange certain events accordingly how I think the story is played out. Because obviously you can do one thing entirely far away from the crime scene and also and then jump back into the place, into the police station and all. Also, if you like and uh, you haven't heard or maybe you do have, about Zootopia, they also have their own hidden game, hidden item game, which is basically based on the gameplay of this criminal case. I'm not sure if there's another game before the criminal case, but it's a nice story, you know, based on the Zootopia movie and all the things how they enlarge and explore the lore of the Zootopia universe. Links to all these games mentioned here will be laid out at the end of the, this video. So until then, please share your comments and thoughts about this new Pacific based game. Are you looking forward to it or what? Or do you think it's just going to be a repetitive thing of the previous game? So until then, thanks for watching and please feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you have not to follow on this nice story and see where it takes us to. Goodbye.